the more you know it's face Suyukin. I'm back. It's been a couple weeks and I'm way to go. I missed Ghost Trick very badly. I love this game. Let's do this thing. And just to remind everyone, I'm probably going to pronounce tons of names wrong. It's just, I have a hard time. Let's get over that. Okay? Uh, what's up? Doctor? I think we can pretty safely assume this was the murder weapon. <laughs> right there. Oh no, that's the pistol. Yep. <laughs> Same murder as the pistol you detectives carry around. You don't think it was lean, do you? This is not good. If it is hers, it's all over. So Lean is a detective, and the murder weapon might be her pistol. What could it all mean? Oh, no. We might need to get Steve here and solve some Blue's clues. But let's do this thing. Can I talk to Ghost Dude? Ghost Dude. Can I talk to him when I'm over on my body? Trick my body. No, you can't trick your body. We, we already learned that, okay? Give me a sec- oh! They're talking about the gun. Why don't you go examine the gun? Gun. Duh, Yuki! Okay, 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 guys. I get it. I get it. Trick the gun. So this is the weapon that took my life. A pistol, huh? Memory seems to be hazy on pistols. But I have seen them before, that's for sure. Let's see. This part is white. This part right here is... Whoa! Ghost gun! Ghost gun! Woo! Fool! <coughs> if you want to fire the thing, aim it in your own direction! Cough. <laughs> I didn't fire it! I'm the victim here! This is an act of someone who's jealous of my abilities as a detective, of course. Of course, of course. Well, what are you clearing at me for? I'm wholly jealous of you. I mean, come on, I got better glasses. Well, guess that proves it's a real gun. Yeah, he scared everyone. Bang! What was that? Is that what I think it was? <laughs> it sounds like a gun. Oh god, we gotta hurry up! There's a phone! People are freaking out, man! Oh no? I, ha I got a bad feeling about this. Every time that phone rings, it's bad news. I know, it's bad news bears. It's like the old widow. Which came first? The winging of the phone? Or the crime case? Uh, if you say so. Let's hurry up and get to the crime- But then pacha! Achoo pacha pachoo pacha! We gotta get over to the finger Fing for fang foofs. Pakatsuka pakats. I did not say the effort. I was randomly saying words. Ah There you are! Do me a favor and have the dark come to the super's office, would you? Mm -hmm. Uh, he seems pretty business busy at the moment, so... Look, there's a little crack right here. You need to pay attention to the little details, guys. Which are you? The green one or the blue one? Am I right? He's bad at with names, uh, too. Uh-oh, uh... I'm the green one, sir. No one remembers my name. <laughs> Listen, Greeny! Get the good dog over here this instant! Uh, he didn't have his happy looking face on, but you know, it, it felt like it. Oh no, he got his mad face now. Oh, I'll see it! You never wear a green suit again! What, what was that voice? I don't know, but I'm going with it because it sounded too cool. Yes, so I'll send him up right away, sir. Please don't. <laughs> sir, I'm scared, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Please don't look at me, sir. I'm gonna just go in the corner, sir. Oh, look, I can just go to the super's office. Isn't that amazing? I'm so happy now. Please, doctor, go to the superintendent's office immediately. <sighs> I must. See ya, doc. Have a good time. Pip pip cheerio. Um, but I should see what he has to say. Blue suit, what's your opinion on this? What's going on? Don't ask me. But something really, really wrong. It, saw, it sounded like it was coming somewhere around the main office building. 
Well, you guys would know. Oh, wait, wait, my ghost self was gonna talk. Yes, ghost self, go ahead. The telephone call was from the super office in the main building. I know that. And didn't the blue detective say that Lean was being held in the junkyard superintendent's office? I know that. Hurry then. You better get there quickly. No time to be standing around here talking to a desk lamp. Says the one who's only capable of standing around. Okay, guys. Okay, jeez. I'll go. Trick it to the bicket. It's a bicket? I don't know. But I don't have time to go to all these places we already seen. Let's get to the super... Oh, look, there's a park. Can we go to the park? Bye! <laughs> Let's go to the park! <laughs> Why? Because I like to break up the tension. We need a little... Let's see where the park is. Listen to this music. Yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I'm done dancing. I was actually dancing for a second, guys. You, you had to let me. It appears to be the entrance to a nearly disordered, dimly lit park. The voices are two young people drifted over to me on the breeze. That dude. And that dude. Stop the park from being turned into a house site. Protect the park. Box of the gods. <sighs> uh, sorry, but could you do that somewhere else? I'm a little busy right now. I don't have time to talk. I suppose you think I'm a man of dubious character, a Cresno person. No, I, uh... But if an object person were asked, they might think you were a little suspicious yourself. Two suspicious characters, shouldn't we take the time to converse with each other? <laughs> oh boy, all right, but just for a minute. There, I like your attitude. I like it very much. Let's relax and take a while then, right? The night is young and so are we, right? Oh man. I, I smell romance in the air. <laughs> Can I even get over to them? Okay, read the leaflet. Trick. No, I can't. Well, I can't do nothing here. I wasted everyone's time, but we got to see a true friendship formed in this moment of need. Let's just get back to the um, place we were supposed to go, the super office of office supers. You know, we, we don't have time to dilly-dally and do stuff. Oh, oh, okay. Yet another gunshot rings out in a lonely junkyard on the edge of town. The sounds give me the feeling a new death will be waiting on the other side of the line. Apparently I'm not the only one that Weeper's interested in tonight, but as long as there's anything I can do about it, I don't plan on letting anyone else die. Chapter 4. We're moving along, people. Going through the night. Let's go. Changing a person's fate is no easy task, especially when their fate is death. The scene at the other end of the line is pretty much what I expected. All except one thing. What was it? <gasps> Did she, is she dead again? No, Lynn! Wait, wait, wait. No, Lynn! Hit the baby! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Um... I don't know what to give this guy. <laughs> it looks like some piece of trash shot her from the top of the public covers. I don't know what that. It looks like some piece. It looks like some piece of trash shot her from the top of the pile of garbage outside. Here, take me. Let me take a look at her. Maybe there's something I. Sorry, I can't allow that pitch man. I am investigate and you. Superintend, you have your job and I have mine. <laughs> Let's leave each other to his own profession, shall we? <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. I mean, yes. Well, here's what I think. I'm trying to give this guy. A, I, I I don't know. <sighs> 
Can we just pretend his pigeon is talking instead? How much of a pro can we... <laughs> How much of a pro can you be if you let her get showered? <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry, dude. This is a serious moment. I'm sorry. Anyways, have it your way. I'll stay out of your hair. That... That sounds like a good voice, probably. If I can remember that, probably I won't. But, you know, I'm trying. Oh, he's walking. He's a little pigeon. Just gave him the key. Because he has a smart barred butt on his head. You know it's true. He's just going to walk down the stairs. Like, oh! Screw everyone. He doesn't need to walk down the stairs. He slides down. He's smooth. He got a pigeon and he knows how to groove. Oh, um, oh, hey, Doc. Doc! What took you so long? Quit dragging your feet! I hit my glasses because I was moving to the dialogue. <laughs> Who are you to shit at me? Now let me have a look at the victim. <laughs> I haven't even looked yet, but I can't... I haven't even looked yet, but I can't already tell you she's... Why am I having a hard time reading tonight? I haven't even looked yet, but I can tell. Oh, wait. <laughs> can I read? I haven't even looked yet. But I can already tell you she's dead. There we go. Her second death of the night, actually. Yeah, I said, already dead again? Man, what the hell? Two times in a row? Shame on you. We're going to have a little conversation. Okay. Oh, can you save her? She's not breathing! We wait for it. <laughs> I'm not a miracle worker. <laughs> Only thing we can do now is curse the aim of the one who shot her. Lean, how could I let this happen to you? Oh. Okay, the sound was messing up and I tried to fix it, but it just made the sound sound like this. So whatever, let's just get and see what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, the white here it freezes a lot. Yeah. What's up? What's up with this pink lab notebook? Someone stuck it behind the bookcase. Uh, it has really anger, maybe. That's the super tense way of tying up. Woo, what's going on? Oh yeah, I can talk to her. Unconscious this time as well, huh? Where am I? She's coming too. What happened to me? Excuse me, are you annoying me? Uh, sorry, I still not used to talking with dead people, you see. Dead? So I'm dead, huh? Hmm, try as I might, I can't seem to remember who I am. She's starting to remind me of me. Who am I? Everyone seems to call you Lean, if that's any help. Lean, huh? That's a pe pretty cute name. And apparently you're a detective, too. Detective? You mean that super cool kind of cop that solves crimes and upholds justice? Yeah. Sounds like a pretty subject description, but yes. That kind of detective. Hey, wait a minute. Are you starting to remember something? There's no time to lose! going down to this town tonight. <laughs> yeah, I surely won't argue with that really unusual part. That's not your face, you know. Take another look. You're the dead one. Oh, wait. Of oh, wait. Of course. I'll be pretty hideous if I looked like this. I guess, wouldn't I? No, you would be the hunk, man! 
You're only adding that in because you already used that for a title last episode. Pretty much. I don't know if hideous is the right word. What's it, hideous or heinous? Ah, no. Who cares? There! This is more like it! <laughs> Something really is unusual is going on in this town tonight. Could it have anything to do with my death, I wonder? Tell me, what is going on in this town tonight? Don't ask me. Huh? I can't remember a thing. I think it's probably because I'm dead. Hey, everything is so confusing. Can't you do something? Hey, you're asking the wrong guy. But I got something to ask you about. About me? I'm looking for answers to questions who I am and why am I killed? Do you know anything that might help me? The only thing I know right now is that my name is Cecil. I'm calling them Cecil, people. My let's play, I can do what I want. <laughs> Your name is Cecil, huh? I think so. It rings some kind of bell anyways. I think I was killed tonight while I was meeting with you. So you must at least know me, I think. I was meeting with you? Yes, in the junkyard outside. It was right here. See, now it's all black and white. We're doing a Hannibal thing now. Yeah, it's coming back to me. I remember now. I knew it. I knew it. I knew you were the lead I needed. Uh, but I'm sorry. I don't think I can help you. Oh, why not? Because I don't know you. What do you mean? I thought you said you remembered me. No, I said I remembered something. I remember the fact that I don't know you. No way. Well, we're just two strangers then? So you don't know me, huh? Nope. I wish I did. So do you suppose we're just two strangers who happened to meet tonight? No way. I don't think it was any accident. Why in the world would I be way out here in the middle of nowhere for no reason? I was asked to come here tonight. Asked to come by who? Can't you kind of guess where this is going? You're kidding me, you mean? Bingo, by you. <laughs> I asked you to come here, but why? That's what I at that's what I was gonna ask you. Why did you ask me to come here tonight? Way out here in the middle of nowhere? You gotta be kidding me. It goes without saying that I don't remember. Grr, everything is so confused and can't you do something? <laughs> mean stuff. So I died, huh? Yes, apparently. I'm very sorry. How could this happen after I just passed my test finally this year? My exciting career of catching the bad guys had just begun. And now look at me. Why did I have to go and die in an old junkyard like this? Poor kid. The sock is shutting in. Pretty true. And so I told her everything that happened tonight about the ghost trick procession, manipulating objects, how I met a dog, and about back and forth minutes before I pushed, and about the back four minutes before pushing up. Yeah, that's important too, I guess. This is actually isn't the first time you died tonight, you know. You were always shot and killed once before tonight. And you saved me? That's right. You don't remember? Wait, wait, we gotta go back to a little Hannibal cutscene right here. See, the little black and white Hannibal scene. Yeah. Hmm. Yes, I think I remember something that happened vaguely. Yes, I did get shot by a blue man dressed in all black. I guess this means even if a death is a waste, the memory of it remains. How many people did I save? A dog and her. Okay. So I died twice already tonight. Wish I knew what to say to her. I guess I'll just have to wait until she recovers a little. Hey, I bet that's some kind of record, don't you think? Uh, yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> Looks like she's pretty much recovered already. Recovers just like that, man. She good. Lean. I'm not saying you owe me or anything, but I have to ask a favor of Super Fool. What is it? In the next four minutes, you'll come, probably come back to life. When you do, do you think could, you could try to find out about me before tomorrow morning? Who I am and why I was killed? I'm really sorry, but I can't make any promises. Oh, why not? I don't remember everything clearly right now, but I think I was investigating a case tonight. 
a case that's very, very important to me. So even if I come back to life, I don't think I'll have time to find out anything about you. I know that's a terrible thing to say to the person who saved my life once already. I'm really, really sorry. I see, that's too bad. But I'm afraid I'm still going to, ha to ask you. Ask me what? Ask you to save me. Even far, I probably won't be able to help you. I know it's selfish of me. I really apologize. But I just can't die. Not yet. Not like this. I'm investigating something important tonight. I think maybe that might be the reason I was killed. But I still want to solve the case in the spirit of all that. I'm... Am I out of line? Didn't I tell you a minute ago you don't owe me a f Owe me? Huh? I'm certainly not going to treat your life like some kind of bargaining chip. I'll save you what, what you do after that is up to you. Thank you. Cecil, you're a true man. So you ready to go back? Back four minutes before you got shot? Well, guys, we'll rewind time and see your death in the next episode. Goodbye and good night, guys.